Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today, I've got a few different things going on. So first of all, I'm on my way to my friends right now to work with Mace, which is the horse that I rode in the last video. Um, we're refreshing her and so I'm gonna go and do some groundwork with her and possibly teach her owner a few things. I'm not sure how much she knows, but I would like to kind of like walk her through what I'm doing. Um, so hopefully she can kind of do that when she's at home and then oh I'm going to pick up a client horse today so this is fun um, I have a client horse coming for she doesn't know if she wants to do two weeks or four weeks yet depending on how quickly the horse refreshes but I'm going to pick up a client horse so my friend's gonna come with me and we're gonna go pick up an Arabian mare she is very well trained in dressage I think um, but she can also ride Western Pleasure or Western Dressage. So I'm going, going to go get her after we're done with Mace. And then later I have to go out to my dad's because my horses uh, broke the fence again. Which actually I think they did it a while ago, but my dad just now noticed it. And then way later tonight, I am going to go get a dog. So I'm really excited. So yeah, welcome to the vlog. Questions. Have you, has anyone taught you like a proper way to lunge? Yes. Okay. And then second, you can be totally honest, I don't want to do. Do you understand the concept of tough training? Okay. So I'm going to kind of talk through it so that like if you're home and want to work with her by yourself, you can. Okay. So yeah, I know, I know literally nothing. Okay. So horses are prey animals, as we know. So instinctually they're designed to be lazy. Like they don't want to work because in the wild like they're designed to conserve energy only if you have to get away from a predator or you have to walk miles and miles from to find your food so they naturally they don't want to work hard unless they have to so pressure and release I train natural horsemanship so I train with pressure and release but some people don't and I don't like I don't like when they don't because it's so much harder for a horse to learn that way, like a ranch. Because when you're constantly <laughs> putting pressure on a horse and you're never giving them that release, it's so much harder for them to learn that way because you're just putting pressure and pressure and pressure and pressure on the horse. You're never telling them when they got the right answer. <laughs> so if you just keep pushing them, they're just going to keep trying different answers unless you tell them that they got something right. So I'm going to lunge her. And like she's obviously broke, so I'm not gonna treat her like she's never done anything in her life. But to lunge, I just point which way I wanna go and put your pressure on. And then when she moves out, I'm gonna take it off. Oh, 
back up here because she wants to go back to room Bike up here away from the river. Oh, shit. Bro, you're gonna need some work. Force. Yep. Oh. Okay. Now we're gonna go after this. I always do this with a whip or with a rope so that she understands that we don't have to be scared of it. It's just an extension of my arm. workout today. Good girl. You're tired. We're looking at round pin panels, so. Okay. Hopefully for future. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of tried to find some on like marketplace. Yeah, that's what we've been looking, but even like if they're posted within an hour and I message yeah. them, they're like, sorry, it's sale pending. And I'm like, what the fuck? Just walking in circles for me. That's enough. I just want her to keep moving. Keep walking. What she was giving me down there was no, I don't want to. No, I don't feel like it. So now I'm going to release all the pressure and just let her stand here and do nothing. Good girl. That's all I wanted. But just some walk. Go the other way. Good girl. And you, you know what it means when they lift their lips like that? Like when you're working? Yeah. Okay. The one thing I do know. <laughs> Yeah, it sure does. But that'll be good. If you put the round pin in there, even when rumor's right next to her, run her until you make her pay attention to Yeah. Her. It doesn't matter if there's other horses or not. You can't risk yourself getting hurt. I would consider this like abuse. Yeah. You're abusing. But it's like, look how much she already took away from... Yeah.
Yeah. Horses kind of have three levels, fight, flight, or submission. And as she's given up, she doesn't really have that flighty instinct, like she's spooky or scared, but she's given up that fight. even though it's easy. And once she gives me what I want, which is to stand here and do nothing, then I'll release the pressure. Good girl. Yeah. And always do everything on both sides. I hate a one-sided horse. I went to get on Holly and got on the wrong side and he like took off. Lost his like, mind. Yeah. It's amazing what just losing a little weight can do to a saddle fit. is pressure. So if she's doing what I asked, I don't have to swing it. But I'm going to push her a little more every time she comes over here because that's her, I call it the sticky spot, where she knows rumors over there, so she wants to stop right there. Chunks. I mean, if I just kept making her go around and around and around, then 
that's not releasing the pressure. Right. So every time she does it right, I want to stop and release that pressure. And the more successful times that she does it, the better she can understand. See, I didn't ask her to move yet. Stand. I guess that's up to you, kind of, like, how far you want to, what, how far you want to go today with her. I think she's ready and she's fine. I mean, we won't, like, ride her for a whole hour or anything, but just, like, a couple laps each way, I think would be good. Okay. Yeah. Okay guys, so you got to see some of the work that I did with Mace earlier today. Um, parts of it got a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie. She was very buddy sour at the beginning and was basically dragging me all over the place. But um, after a while of working and realizing she can't get away from me and she is gonna have to like do some work and tr try something for me, uh, she basically gave in and was very good the rest of the time so we just did some lunging I put the saddle on her um, my friend thankfully was videotaping for me but um, we actually did get her up in the saddle as well and just do a few laps each way on the lunge line so she got on mace but it's definitely gonna take some work um, to basically refresh her manners though I mean she's totally fine with the saddle and with riding as you guys saw I rode her um, like last week so, I mean, riding wise, she's fine. It's just the ground manners and the respect on the ground that needs to be tuned up. So, I mean, I think she'll be good. I was kind of walking or talking through uh, with my friend about, you know, what I was doing so she could better understand it because she's never really had anybody teach her the proper way to address a horse's manners. So, um, I kind of talked her through it so like hopefully she can try some of that at home as well um, when she's kind of working with her um, but yeah so actually I got the client horse <laughs> I'm hauling her to the barn right now we're almost there but we went and got the client horse um, she really wasn't that bad about getting in the trailer uh, they said that she refused to get in a trailer but she honestly just needed to check it out and sniff it a little bit and got in. She was kind of nervous about like the shaking and the noise of my trailer, but she got in and she's fine. So I'm taking her to the barn right now. 
Uh, Melanie is currently at the barn and uh, having some issues with cash. Um, he's got like a shut swollen eye. So uh, she texted me a little bit ago and I was like, I'm on my way there. Uh, we'll see you like if, if it looks bad or anything. So, um, but yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Hi pretty girl, did you make it? Did you make the ride? Where are we? All right, I'm gonna unload her and put her away with two hands. Cause I don't wanna hold the camera with one. 